Okay, let's check this out. I've been super cranky because uh, I have not had a chance to play this game yet, and I am a huge Command and Conquer nut, and they finally just accepted my uh, my request for early access. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see what this uh, this game's all about. So I'm playing this on a on a Mate 10. Someone's gonna have to let me know. I turn up the, the game volume here. We need to take control of the nuclear base and defend long enough for it to launch. Hey, Marius, how's it going, man? And let's see. To control the missile, we'll need to build some troops. Need to build some troops, or we need to train some troops? Come on, I can't even play this game. This is the worst ever. So we're going to train a squad of rifles. Reinforcements online. Riflemen, lead the way. Riflemen, ready. Move, move, move. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already killing this game. I'm already crushing it. Look at this. Right. Fill the missile bar. Once full, the missile will launch and destroy your enemy. Reinforcements ready. Rifleman, okay? Infantry ready. Let's hey, get Rory, down. how's it going, man? Reinforcements online. Riflemen, lead the way. Riflemen, marching orders received. Riflemen, awaiting orders. Well, looks like I've got my nuke ready. Let's see what they do. I just want to hold off. Okay, so they'll run up and attack that other base. Okay. Let someone let me know if the, the audio is getting too loud or if it's too janky. Reinforcements ready. Missile launched. Haha, <laughs> I launched my missile. I destroyed the base. Look at that. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Brandon, many men in the live chat. Uh, continue playing to unlock bounties. Okay, so here's what's already making me nervous point scale, what kind of tech tree we're gonna have, and if there are gonna be any funky, like, uh, paywalls or cooldown timers. And, um,. I don't know, do I want to play as GDI or do I want to play as Nod? I think I have to play as Nod, right? Like, I have to play as the bad guys. So let's see. Okay, so already in the upper right-hand corner, we're seeing some sort of C with a zero and then crystals. So already there looks like there are two different types of currencies employed in this game. So I know there's going to be a whole bunch of hijinky, mobile game, um, pay-to-win types of shenanigans. Oh, I can't play Nod. I have to play as GDI. Off topic, but did you hear about the amazing news about Star Trek today? I have not heard any amazing news about Star Trek today. Uh, fill, fill me in later. Uh, you need Kane to hop in and go crazy. I do need Kane, but I can't until I'm like level four, and I guess level four will come when I've accrued a billion crystals. All right here, let's edit my army. Uh, add new units to your army in order to bring them into battle. Oh, my, I'm, my face is blocking some of units. Let's move that over. So, uh, do we have rocket? Yeah, we've got rocket. So, we that, and a war factory, and down. This is not feeling Command and Conquer. This is feeling like every Clash of Siege of Clan of Empire type mobile game so far. Just with a Command and Conquer wrapper on it. Alright, next mission. Establishing so this one will be much harder. Control. Because I'm about to fight Colonel Jackson, yo. Three, two, one. So it looks like we available. get similar setups. I'll be your opponent for the rest of your training. Try to counter the units I build. Um, you, we need to construct a building before we can produce units. Let's get one. So I'm assuming we'll probably need to do barracks. Yep, build your barracks. Building ready. Now build units, but can I also build... Uh, I have to build Unit units first. ready. And I can only build move, move, move. one unit. Okay. Reinforcements ready. Building online. Let's see, let's build a rhino. Every unit is one of these types. Every unit is also strong against one or more of these types. Attack with the right unit. Okay. Reinforcements online. Fighting orders. You got it. Here's a vehicle against us. We need to build a unit that's strong against vehicles. Tap and hold on a unit's button to see what it's strong against. 
Missile squad is strong. I have a missile squad, so let's get those guys over there. And I'll, I'll do that. Now, where do I see my... Oh, there's my game currency. Okay. No, go, go attack that guy. What are you doing? Reinforcements ready. Awaiting orders. Acknowledge. No, attack that guy. Yeah, it's come, away. Lock I do and not like the sort of tap and play setup. No, nope. attack that guy. Do the thing. Kill that guy. What is your unit strong against? Here, right. enemies your unit is strong against are highlighted in green. Okay, cool. So I can long press to get my unit strength, and I can also see green icons. Got it. Is, these kinds of like, let me hold your hand through all of this stuff is kind of making me crazy too. They have two miners? Oh, go get that guy. Unit lost. Reinforcements online. Lock and load. We just get the. Grab it. The enemy is using infantry while Unit training rifle. Rifle marching orders received. Missions ready to launch. Let's go. Awaiting. Moving out. We also got the red light. Get up. Real mad if the pussy is a rhino. Yeah, the rhino's supposed to be good against infantry, and I've got two rhinos out there. Kill them, guys. Kill them. Kill them dead. Kill them dead. Hmm. This is what the boat is. This is what the boat is. This is the boat is. This Continue playing to unlock bounties. Let's move these there. How many? So I've got 40, and now I just got a crate. Oh, good. I love crates from EA. Those are always my favorite. All right, let's tap to play. What we, oh, God. Animation for opening a crate. I now have 20 credits. What are, what are credits for? And I unlocked the pit bull. So that's strong against vehicles and air targets. And it can attack while moving. Awesome. And I've got now one of two rifleman cards. Oh, guys, this is not making me happy. This is making me real nervous. We have earned enough credits to train a unit. All right, let's see. So, I wish someone would port I'm stronger. Okay. So I guess I'm training my infantry because I, I'm not allowed to make tech tree decisions on my own at the beginning of the mobile game. The voice audio is a little quiet. Let me try turning the game audio just a little. I'm not sure on the, the Mate 10 if I can change the, the mic. Uh, here, let's do the training. Sorry. Whoa, now his self is 606. All right. All right, let me train him again. N okay, cool. But now I am out of credit. All right, let's see this. And move this over here. Let me know if that was any better. I turned the game audio down. Um, oh, let me see what's in my little inbox. Establishing Twitter controls. Oh, good. I can follow CNC rivals on Twitter. No player wipes. Received a lot of feedback from our player community that they've been bummed. We plan to wipe all player data. <laughs> oh, God. Because uh, here's, here's what's great about a player community that's already getting pissy about their mobile game. Is you got early access. You got to play the game before anyone else publicly got to play the game. And that meant you got to build up your skills. And so that would give you levels of advantage above anyone who would get to play when the game actually goes public. Why not just wipe? If, if I were EA and really doing this for Command & Conquer right now, I would definitely 
just say, sorry, thank you for your feedback, but we're going to wipe, and that way everyone starts fresh. It's the thing that always pissed me off about trying to get into games like Ingress, where you would try and start playing the game, but you'd never really be able to progress because people who were, like, l levels and levels ahead of you could just stomp all over anything you did. All right, let me edit my army, and we'll add the Pitbull. Mr. Coast to Coast, Mr. Worldwide... And next mission, I don't know, am I still doing the training missions? Yeah, I'm still going up against Colonel Jackson. Okay, so we want... Ooh, now we can set up three basey things. Three missile platforms. We need to control more of them than the enemy to fire the missile. Let's build troops to secure at least two of those missile platforms. I agree. Let's start with barracks. We'll do riflemen. And we'll do missile squad. Oh, you they, they just get to be on the barracks? Let's do a war factory while that's going. Ooh. Uh, commander powers have long cooldowns but can help turn the tide of battle. Mine is the minigun turret. Place a minigun turret. That's good. Um, I need to wait... So this is the other thing. Let me move my face over pre-alpha. So there's like, you, you don't have any resource collection. That's, you just have to wait on a timer for resources to accrue. Kill those guys. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Some units like the Pitbull have very special effects. Let's try one out. Okay. Uh, what is the can attack while moving? Awesome. Uh, wow, a vehicle that can shoot while moving. Let's build a Pitbull. Kill those guys. Again, these things really bug me when units can just sort of sit there and die. So yeah, this really does not have the legit feel of a Command and Conquer. I'm gonna move the missile squad. Because I killed all my missile squads. Because they're just standing around waiting to die. It looks like I got my second nuke in there, so that's fine. Yeah, you know, crazy, twitchy StarCraft gaming, this is not. So now I've got 20 more Command and Conquer Eagles. I don't know, does that... Do I get another crate? Oh, let me tap to collect this crate. Okay. Oh, I hate this so much. Okay. I have 100 credits. I get a level 3 out of 2. I get a 1.5 Pitbull. Alright. And my Rhino just got an upgrade, too, apparently. My Rifleman. Ooh, the Wolverine. Um, I rarely play FTP games on Android anymore. Quite happy to play, pay a few euros for a complete game. I, I... This is why I'm grinding so much on uh, Exiled Kingdoms. I flippin' love that game. It's, it's such a, a funky Diablo clone. But this crate system is really bugging me. From Laron. This is my first time seeing you without the hat. I've done a few. I've done a few recently. Um, you've earned enough extra cards to level up your riflemen. Oh, God, I hate this. I do not like how they're setting up this tech tree, guys. Uh, so I needed cards and credits to up level up. I, man, I don't like that. I really don't. Um, I need to level up some other things, too, apparently. Let's, let's try... What are my commander level ups? Nah, I don't want to do that just yet. I, I probably need to work on this guy here. So he's level 3. It's 70 credits to level him up. Where, what about my... My rhino definitely needs to go. Okay. Alright, so that's better. Let me see where my pit bull's at. Mr. Worldwide! Units upgraded. Units upgraded. Units 
Okay, so that's level two now. And I think I can also... I, I don't know what this Wolverine does, but let's go ahead and, and jack him up too. An extreme has an extremely high speed attack. He's good against people and airplanes. All right. Let's see. Okay, I guess I'm done. Let's add my Wolverine. And let's do the thing. Let's win the day. Let's win the day. I do like that they seem to have the VO. Oh, so now I've got to get a tech lab going. Buildings and unit units cost Tiberium to build. The more we get, the stronger we'll be. Harvesters. Okay, so there is a, an additional... Um, there is an additional uh, resource generation. Please start playing. Nafis, what do you think I've been doing? This is the game. All right, um, so are they going to make me do the harvester? For, build a harvester. Okay, so I have to do that. Now let's build some barracks. I want some riflemen. And I definitely want to do another minigun. Wait, so if you... If you tap on one unit, it... Oh, that's really gonna bug. Spending my Saturday night watching someone playing an Android game on their phone on my phone. <laughs> uh, what a, an amazing world we live in. Alright, let me build my war factory because I'm definitely gonna need... Let me get a rhino going. Oh, and I guess all my riflemen were dead because I wasn't paying attention. No, go down here. Go down here. Come on, Rhino. Come on, Missile Squad. Represent. I don't. I don't know that there's any way I'm gonna be able to. Uh... You've harvested. An... Oh, I. I guess I am ready for. But I now I need to. I need to wait. Ah, oh, that is not when I would have just done this because now they're throwing tanks after me. Ah, oh, son of a. Oh, that was dumb. I thought the turret could reach that far. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm building. So yeah, that was a dumb place, and I don't think I can take the turret out. Dang it. Oh, uh, that sucks. But am I... Let's build the Wolverine. Let's put you over here. Kill those people. Alright, Wolverine looks kind of cool. What? I had control of everything and they threw a nuke at my base? That's BS. That... that's not cool. Yeah, I, I don't know how I lost control of the platform with it being in yellow. So I, I don't... I don't get that at all. I don't understand. Let's see if I get another magic crate. Nope. I need to keep playing. No magic crate this time. I don't know. I really want to like any game that's Command and Conquer. But this isn't... This isn't instilling me with a lot of confidence. Let's see how you... Oh, we'll go against a tougher opponent. Okay. So I want to see the path. I'm likely going to want to set up on those two platforms. 
All right. Building online. Why can't I? Um, I'm imagining they're gonna go there. So let's go there. Let's do riflemen. Those cooldowns don't. Only way to be sure. Reinforcements online. Building ready. So I need to accrue some cash to get that, but I want to get another rifleman. Put those down there. So that was a dumb place to put my turret. Dang it. Defense offline. Is that like a specialty unit? Alright, I want to put you right there. Go, go, go. So right now I'm playing worst command and conquer I can think of. Um, from Andrew Galtiao, what's your favorite command and conquer game? Um, I'm kind of partial to the red alerts just because they were so corny. I really liked um, like Red Alert 2, and then also like the Yuri's Revenge. I really liked those also. So, tougher opponent, but it, like, it doesn't make sense to have an advanced tech tree if a, a match is gonna last, that is gonna be over that quickly. Where it really just made the most sense to, um, it really just makes the most sense to just build the cheapest units and just kind of spam your opponent kind of zerg rush style um tap to collect let's see what i get in this funkier looking crate god i hate crates so much i have 100 credits my rhino has been upgraded missile squad is is up i hate the I, guys i do not like this i really don't like this Yeah, Chato, dude, I, I'm I'm with you. This anytime you do crates in an EA game and different premium credits and currencies, this is making me super nervous. All right, let me enter my name. Renegade was good times. That definitely was good times. Um, some gad jet guy. This is amazing live streaming right here. All right, continue. So I guess now I'm, I, I've done my, oh, free crate. Let's see what's in my free crate. More credits. I have 145 credits. My rifleman has a different number by him. Another free credit, free crate? Do, do I just keep getting crates? What's going on? This is this is it all. I, okay, now I have a cooldown counter, and now let's see what the purchases are. Um, crates, and this is where the jewels come in. So I can do an a rare crate or an epic crate. This is gambling. This is gambling in a video game. This should be against the law for kids. I I. Oh man. And they have credit to jewel conversions, but let's see how many jewels. Let's see how you get more jewels. Can I get more jewels? I'm pushing on the plus sign. You can see my webcam's wobbling. Oh. Generals was okay. Generals was a good command and conquer game. Um, I I don't love that EA got rid of the uh, the corniness, but um, you need a loot box alarm so I can switch to another stream to avoid them. <laughs> I don't even want to watch a game with loot boxes. Uh, EA will soon release a game where you just open crates. I'm just going to give you money to have sparkling effects open up crates for me. Um, yeah, apparently I can't buy more jewels. Oh, God, I hate, I hate, hate, hate. I'm not okay with that. All right, let me come back. Man, what is order crate? Battle to earn fuel. So there's also a fuel resource in this game too. Um, let's see. 
No PvP games. I just want to see what else is... What the leaderboard's looking like. Because the pairing on this is also going to be a big deal. See, I, like, I don't want to go up against someone who's got 7,000 eagles. What I have, like... I have 100. I have 100 eagles. Alright, let's see. So... What... Can I... I, I need to be level 2 required, so I can't unlock any of these guys yet. I'm, I'm like, pointing at the screen. You guys can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> and there are victory bounties. Oh, man, this is, this is so not what I want in a Command & Conquer game. This is going to be another opportunity for me to shout out. There's a game called Forged Battalion, which I should be streaming um, instead. Uh, you probably can buy it in the Play Apple Store. That's true. I could probably hook it up that way, but I don't want to spend any money on this right now. I, I, I mean, obvious. Honestly, I don't want to spend any money on this period. Uh, I also just want to see real quick what achievements, privacy, users, link account, about sound effects. Um, watching you play this makes me want to go play a proper game like Witcher Three. <laughs> Rory, dude, I'm like, this is totally the eating my vegetables. No, not even eating my vegetables. This is not good for me. This is like me running a food channel where I eat utter garbage so that you don't have to. Um, I, I really want to like a mobile incarnation of, of a um, real-time strategy kind of game. This is, this is not it. All right, let me see if I can just... Let me edit my army. Not that I can. I, I have a zone trooper. Oh, okay, so much respect to StarCraft. StarCraft is awesome. StarCraft is amazing. But my RTS drug of choice is definitely Command & Conquer. And that's also why I was saying the, the shout-out. Forged Battalion is former Westwood developers. So the former team, before EA bought out the team that, that originally made Command & Conquer, that team went off and made their own little game studio, and they have, I think it's $20. 20 bucks, And it's a modern sequel in spirit to the old school Command & Command and Conquer. Forged Battalion. Yeah, Andrew! Forged Battalion is awesome. It is brutal. The tech tree is more complicated than it needs to be, but it's, it's a good way to sort of evolve your playstyle over time. And just, it's phenomenal. It takes you right back to everything that you would love about a classic RTS, a classic Command & Conquer game. It is terrific. I cannot recommend it enough. And again, like I said, it's cheap. It, it, it might be more expensive once it's final release. It's in pre-release right now, and some of the tooltips will break while I'm playing with it. So that's not great. But the actual gameplay is flipping phenomenal. Um, so I guess I've got my team set up, and I've got my commander, and she's sassy and cute. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we, you, I, I think the, the StarCraft versus Command & Conquer debate is a fun debate, but just my own personal, um, my own personal preferences was Command & Conquer. Uh, you back with your live stream on Monday. Rory, I will be back podcasting on Monday. I was just, uh, I was in rural New Mexico, and not a lot of great internet access in rural New Mexico. All right, here, let's let's get this queued up. So I'm playing against Mom, Mo Mom, and they're probably going to kick my ass because they're, uh, they're an actual person. So let's build that. Let's get this. Now, Forge Battalion is a legit PC game. It's not a, it's not a, a mobile game. But again, that's that's kind of it. Like you don't want, um, you don't want RTS on mobile. I think it is early access. Sorry, I'm I'm actually playing against a real person, and they're playing more aggressively, and they're playing better than the than the computer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. But something tells me that they're probably going to beat me to a harvester. I think that was actually kind of a dumb move on my part. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Launch. 
So I got one nuke out, but I think they're going to catch up here. God, the cooldown on this takes so long. Ooh, and they're getting lots of cheap guys out. See, again, I don't see the, the advantage in, in trying to... Uh, I don't see the advantage in trying to keep more expensive units out. And my cooldown is taking longer and longer. Why did you get off the pad? Oh, you idiots! Okay. All right, now I gotta, I gotta focus. No, stay back. Stay on the pad. Yeah, so apparently it doesn't matter what you build, it just takes longer and longer. <laughs> Okay, cool. I beat my first human. And I got fuel. So I kill enemy squads with GDI riflemen. Win battles as GDI. Launch nuclear missiles. Cool. I don't care about the replay. Let's just continue. The fuel you earn from battles is used to order crates. Oh my god. Guys. Oh boy. Order a crate to be delivered. Convoy requested. <laughs> what the hell? No, we don't talk about this without trashing it, sorry. FEA for killing this franchise and spitting on its grave. This is not this is not Command and Conquer. This is any other BS mobile pay to win. Um I see and see look what they're doing. It's this kind of crap. So I've used my fuel to at the bottom with this little truck. I've used my fuel to order a crate. Now, if I want the improvements of that crate, I have to wait seven hours. Seven hours. Or I can speed that up by using my premium jewels. So they're purposely putting in barriers. And then I don't get anything for those jewels. I spend those jewels... And then a mystery random number generating event occurs. I get a slot machine mechanic, which then gives me random stuff. Stuff I might want, stuff I might not want. This is, this is terrible. So it's a cooldown clock on top of a premium currency barrier on top of a random number generator. This is terrible. This is, this is awful. I can't believe that this is what the Command & Conquer label is on one of these games. Like, I can't even just play this game and enjoy it. We've got to put these artificial halting clocks in my way to keep me from progressing in the game. So I can't build my tech tree. I can't build my, build my skill set. I can't rank up my characters without waiting hours and hours and hours. I'm really mad. I'm really mad. I'm... This is not okay. This is not cool. Um, yeah. Because, you know, it, like, I, I'm being a nerd about this. I really am. I'm being a cranky little geek. Uh, my undies are definitely twisted up because I grew up playing games like the original Command & Conquer, the original Red Alert, Loved playing through the franchise into... <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Congrats against your first win against a human. Oh, my God. So many of my gaming childhood memories were wrapped up in this game. It's games like Command & Conquer, games like Diablo, games like Doom and Quake that totally made me the gamer that I am today. From Ruari, it's EA, they don't care about heritage, just about money. I think what's so frustrating about this... What's so frustrating about this is... I feel like a developer with the Command & Conquer license... Like, a developer that owned the rights to make a Command & Conquer game... Would be able to make a ton of money... Using the Command & Conquer name and just putting out a reasonable game at a good price point... 
with maybe a couple little add-ons or extras that you could, you, you know, I don't have a problem with microtransactions. I really don't, but I absolutely despise. I think it should be criminal. I think it should be against the law to have any kind of slot machine random number generating mechanic in a game. That should not be okay. That should be illegal. Um, unless you're going to make the game, like, really limited in launch. Like, it's an adult-only video game. Like, you, you have to have a special account verified that you are over 18 or over 21, whatever gambling is legal in your, in your area. It, it's this type of mystery box. In seven hours, I'll be able to randomly get crap out of a crate. That's what EA should be should be nailed for. <laughs> Sweaty undies? No, no, no. Actually, my undies are quite dry. They're just twisted. So just imagine, like, you know, a good pair of boxer briefs just clenched up right around your, uh, you know, your your gonads, um, and then someone ratcheting that because of how frustrated you are. That that's where I'm at. Let me play another human and just see if this is any fun at all. So that game. Neither of us even got to a place where we could build a tech, you know, tech tree opponents. What was the point of having a harvester and other units and and stuff if I was able to beat that guy solely by um, solely by spamming regular infantry? I'm gonna try. See, I'm gonna lose this one. I'm gonna try and build the harvester and you know build a you know a. Uh, advanced units and stuff like that and see where we go control established. OG Superman There are so many kids out there who put their money into games like this. That's what kills me, man. I don't want my kids growing up at a time where... Structure like, their only idea of playing a game is con constantly having to... Uh... Alright, I need, to, I need to wait for that harvester. I want to try and get that harvester. This guy isn't fighting too hard, though. No! Attack that. Ugh. The touch detection on this is not ideal. So the only thing saving me here, I hate these in-app purchases just started playing Asphalt 9. The mechanic, you can only play six games before you need to wait. It's such a waste, man. It's, it's just so terrible. So what is my harvester doing? It's it's not really generating any additional. But I'm not even going to be able to get to a point like I'm not going to build. And I th so I would I'm I'm just a little okay. So I want you to look at that. That guy actually invested in getting some rhinos out. If that match had lasted just a little bit longer, because I didn't really have good progression, I just would have been spamming normal units. I didn't even have. I didn't even build the war factory. <laughs> I didn't even have the ability to build vehicles. And if that match had just lasted like two minutes longer, that guy would have won. I would have lost that. That's what's so unsatisfying about trying to ramp up this. <laughs> Extra fuel can be used to speed up your convoy. Use fuel to have the crate delivered much earlier. It's going to take, let's shave four hours. Sure, why not? <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, man. Oh, it's so dumb. I, I just, <laughs> this, this is terrible. 
Um, I'm trying to move my face around, and it's wigging out with YouTube YouTube game streaming. Uh, so I think I've I've played about as much as I need to play on this. I. <sighs> I just, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss and I'm mad. I'm, I'm legit mad. This, this shouldn't be, this, this, this should not be. <sighs> Man. Finding me an opponent. Yeah. And also finding opponents, it's, that's gotta be tricky because, um, well, you know, Establishing battlefield control. oh no, you, you, YouTube gaming is messing up on me. Okay, there we go. How much do I start out with? Can I get a harvester? Harvester online. See, I don't understand how. So that's so that's a smart play. I actually like what that guy just did there. Uninstall it, just do it. <laughs> Let's put you right there. Structure ready. Marching orders received. This is my last one. I, I, I'm willing to bet that I, I don't I don't win this. So I've got three people up. Why is the base still yellow if Structure lost? That doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Oh, this guy's way better at getting rhinos out than I am. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm actually in for I'm actually in for a much bigger challenge here. Structure online. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. This guy's actually this guy's actually better than I am. Why is the, the cooldown so slow? I don't get that. See, but I don't understand why the cooldown starts taking longer and longer like that. We go. Oh, he got one of those fancy guys out. You know, this actually could be kind of fun if the whole back end on this wasn't as terrible as it as it as it was. Oh, get on the pad! Get on the pad! Get on the pad! Oh, damn it. Get on the pad. Get on the pad. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. This is cheesy. I love it. No! Oh, you jerk. All right. Let's get this set up. Pretty brutal. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get on the pad! This is, this is so frustrating. I, I want these things to do, to do work better than this. Um, I'm out. Dang it. Well, that was hard fought and hard lost. Well, I think I think I'm about done though. So now that I've lost, I can I can take my ball and go home. Um, yeah, not great, guys. Not great. Uh, thanks for people chiming into the chat and keeping me company while I uh, I gave this a try. I'm, uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep investing time into this game. I've been weaning myself off of Marvel Future Fight, just running the auto stuff and the few things that my, uh, Alliance, uh, likes to play, and I think I'm kind of fine just moving on from there. So, I think this is probably my inaugural and my ultimate, uh, Command & Conquer stream here. I don't know, maybe, um... Maybe if you guys want, I'll, I'll switch over and maybe start doing some Forged Battalion, like try and do a weekly game stream that way, uh, just playing with some of those other titles. I definitely need to, um, uh, next week on, uh, on Newegg, I think we're going to be doing some more Overcooked, and Trisha and I were terrible <laughs> at Overcooked, so I'm going to practice Overcooked 1 and try and get better at that, um, so maybe I'll also do some streams for that too. If you want to see more game streams, let me know, hit me up. Uh, good game. It seems that the two spots down there delay the nuclear missile. That's what, that's what makes me mad is, out of all of the strategy mechanics, is you should explain why sometimes the, uh, the timer or the ticker, like, I would have three pads occupied, and they would have one, and then the ticker was still yellow or going in their favor. So I, I'm assuming that, oh, let me put my face, like, right here. I'll be the face of Command & Conquer. Let's see, can I do, like, part... No, it's the wrong side, so it's that side. I want to do that. No, that, that, that doesn't work. Never mind, that's being silly. Um, so I think it's... The more premium the units are also has an influence on how fast the ticker moves in your favor, maybe? I don't know. Um, but regardless, this isn't... It's an interesting idea, and it's an interesting concept for a mobile game for some really great sort of one-on-one -on -one competition... But knowing that there's so much junk manipulating the gaming experience on the back end, microtransactions, in-app purchases, and there's no way, there is no way, I refuse to invest time, effort, energy, or even money into an EA title that has a random loot crate mechanic built into it. That, I, we're not playing that game. We're not going to do that anymore. That's not good for anybody, and I'm not going to support that, regardless of how much I love this franchise and how much I love the Command & Conquer name. That's not going to happen. So, folks, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks so much for joining me on this streaming experiment. I'm going to go get back. Uh, I think Lex is probably going to be waking up from her nap soon, and uh, we'll do some other stuff, too. So, open chest, please. I don't have a chest to open. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and stream for another 2 hours and 45 minutes so that we can potentially open up another chest. Opening chests, opening crates, is the worst thing that has ever happened to games in the history of gaming. I hate everything about them. I hate the, the animation that makes you wait. I hate the random event where you don't know what you're going to get out of it. And I hate this celebratory feel like maybe you got something cool when you know you didn't. So no, I'm, I'm not going to play that game. Sorry, I, I, I don't mean to, to pick on you. That's just my natural bile vomiting out of my face because of how much I hate the, uh, the loot crate industry that EA has created. So folks, um, I'm going to bounce, uh, catch you guys on a future stream. I'll probably, uh, like I said, I'm going to switch over and, and maybe over on my Twitch, which my Twitch has been completely abandoned. I'll do some other gameplay stuff too. Like I really got to do some Forged Battalion. Maybe my buddy Andrew will join me for something like that. We can do a co-stream. That could be a lot of fun. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for future topics, future videos, send them my way. You can hit me up on the Instagrams, Twitters, the Facebooks, at some gadget guy, and I'll catch you all on the next video, the next podcast, the next review. Who knows? It could be anything. Um, I'll, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Be well. And we'll play again soon. Probably. It could happen.